What is MyCWU? So un the university provides online self-service registration, admissions, financial aid, your academic progress, and your student account information all through MyCWU. So by navigating to uh, CWU's main webpage, which is highlighted here, and selecting my CWU, you will be able to access your student center and your student center contains your campus personal information, academic records, and your progress to earning your degree. So the first thing you need to do is go to um, www.cwu.edu, which is the CWU main web page. And on the right-hand corner, you will select My CWU as highlighted here. The second thing you need to do is to sign in. And in order to sign in, you will need your CWU username and password. And your username and password is personal to you. And if you're having trouble with um, logging in or you want to update your account, um, I suggest going to wildcatpassword.cwu.edu. So now you've got everything done. You are you have successfully logged in, and this is the first thing you'll see, my CWU homepage. And your home homepage has a lot of information already. Um, the first thing you might you may notice is your profile, your advisors, and your academic standing. There's also applications and other links that are useful to you. So I typically use the homepage as a shortcut to access Canvas. But another thing that is important is the list of your advisors. For example, here I have three advisors catered to my major um, and to my minor as well. And you'll also be able to see your academic standing and as well as your CWU ID and your email logins for CWU. And if you look over here, on the right hand side of the applications tab, you'll see links to Canvas, your connection card balance, um, your Outlook or email, and also the Wildcat Career Network. As a student, I find these four links the most useful. And uh, as highlighted by the arrow here, if you click on the student, um, tab, you will be taken to your student dashboard. And as you can see, there's a lot of information. So let's break this down step by step. So your student information contains your name as well as your adv advisors again, but it's not shown here, but it also shows your cumulative GPA as well as your transfer credits if you are transferring from another college and um, the college credits that you've already earned in CWU. And then you'll have holds. This is um, also an important part, especially when you're enrolling, because if you have holds, you may not be able to enroll. So I suggest checking your holds. And uh, usually it's blocked right now here, but there will be a link on how to remove that hold. And then finally, um, uh, you'll see on the left hand side is the navigation column. And as you can see, there's a lot of different tabs under the navigation column. But I think the most important part of the, although there are, they are all important, under the navigation part, um, the most important for me is the enrollment tab, the admissions tab, and also the student employment tab. So the enrollment tab is important because that's where you can add, drop, classes and also search for classes, as well as view your grades. And your admissions is also important, especially if you are new, because you will be able to evaluate your transfer credits and also your application status. And then finally here, I highlighted student employment because um, CWU offers a lot of opportunities. So there are, there are um, on-campus jobs, off-campus opportunities, as well as volunteer opportunities, um, work study as well. So 
usually you will be taken to the Wildcat Career Network, which you can also have resources to edit your resume as well. Also, considering that MyCWU has a lot of information in the homepage and in the student dashboard, I do recommend taking the time to navigate and explore the website because it will definitely help with your success here at Central Washington University. That's it for my CWU. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to ask. Um, so Kathy, uh, I think Emily has a question. Like she oh. said, she cannot see the advisor on the page. Is that because one just hasn't been assigned yet? Yes. That is, that, that's true, that's correct. So do you know when advisors will be assigned then? Usually, in my case, it took um, the, after, after the uh, first week of classes, but I have a lot of students who say that they've had, they've been connected with their advisors, academic advisors during the first week of classes. Yes. Yeah, one thing I can add uh, is if you haven't seen your advisor after the first week, um, um, Kathy, could you go back to the page that you have the five um, cardboard, the order links? So I can, can, yeah. So you can see on the right hand side, the order links box, you see the advising resource. So you're going to click on that and it will go to the advising in college. Um, so all the, res uh, all the department that we have and just select the department that you apply for and they mm -hmm. will have the email for the whole apartment that you can shoot them email and asking like, um, I haven't seen my advisor on the my CWU yet. Can you assign me one or? Yes, thank you, Thuan. Oh, yeah. Thank you for your help. All right, any, any other questions before we move on to navigating Canvas? All right, take it away, Juan. Okay, so um, I will show you how to navigate your Canvas. Um, yeah, go ahead, <laughs> Kathy. So uh, if you log into your Canvas, the first, first thing you're gonna see is your dashboard. So your dashboard gonna contain all the information of your class uh, through the cart uh, through those cardboards. So you can see I have the ITAM department because uh, my major is in ITAM, and um, the Seattle area uh, international student because I'm international student from Vietnam. So I have those extra two cards, and uh, so you can see the class that I'm taking this quarter is advanced spreadsheet application IT. Uh, 359, uh, that, that's gonna show on your dashboard on the first week of school. If you haven't seen it in the first week of school, uh, I recommend you to email your professor and saying that your Canvas is not working because you know um, there's some of the homework gonna be due on the first day of school that you might miss it. So um, on the cardboard, you will see the speaker with the number on it. That's mean they have the professor or uh, somebody have do an announcement on there. So you click on the speaker, you will see all the announcement of the class. And the folders on the cardboard um, showing that um, the files that they have, all the files that they have in the class, like your homework, your uh, modules, or any image, any video that's gonna be contained in that file. And um, the one that has like um, inbox, um, that's mean the conversation or discussion that your class may have on the first week or for the through throughout the quarter. And on the on the right hand side will be the to do list. The to do list gonna show any events or announcement, and also gonna show the due dates that you that your homework um, during the week that you need to complete before that day. So the next one is the, re the recent feedback will contain all the grade grading information or any feedback that you receive from the assignment from your professor. So the next one, so we go to the left-hand side, we'll see 
um, uh, above the dashboard gonna be the account information. So from the, from the account information, we have a lot of buttons, um, including like notification profile, file settings, e-portfolio, folio, QR from mobile login and global announcement. So for the notification, um, this is how you setting up your uh, Canvas account. Uh, you can see that you can set up the due dates uh, sent to your email. So for example, you have uh, something due this weekend that they will send you a notification that you have the upcoming homework that needs to be complete. And they, they also have the push notification, uh, which is um, that will send you a notification through your Canvas to remind you that you have a homework that needs to be complete or any events, any deadline. So the next one is the profile. For the profile, you can customize your information on here, your contact information, uh, biography, you can tell a little bit about yourself. So your classmate and uh, your professor can see it, or you can add your image on here too. And the links is if you have any project that um, you wanna share to everyone, you can copy the URL link and put it on there. So the next one is uh, the files. So the files will contain all the information of your uh, homework, your image, your video that you have record uh, through Canvas, and also the submission, the past submission that you had submit through Canvas. Uh, you can see that, oh, you can see that those classes like ADMG 374, Administrative Management, those are the class that I took uh, a while ago and they still keep all of my essay, my project and my paper. So the next one is the e-portfolio. So the e-portfolio that you can um, um, like see what happening during your learning process. Um, you can uh, store your work, you can save your assignment and you can set it to private too. So, so nobody is allowed to see it. Uh, the folio is um, kind of from, uh, kind of similar with the uh, e-portfolio. The folio has another feature is you can add your resume, your cover letter on here, and uh, any skill that you want to share to your future employees or your professor. And the next one is the QR code for the mobile login. Um, if you want to use your mobile uh, canvas on uh, your phone, you can go ahead and scan this code and um, you can log in and download it from the apps, App Store or Google Play. So the next one is global announcement. The global announcement will include all the notification that's been sent from the CWU, uh, like schedule maintenance for the Office 365, or they have a schedule, schedule maintenance for the canvas. So you sometimes you need to pay attention because uh, for example, if you have um, homework that's gonna be due tomorrow, but they send you a notification saying that the canvas will be under maintenance uh, during tomorrow. So you cannot submit your homework through canvas. So sometimes just take a look and see what information do they have on there. That way you can keep track of um, your performance on canvas. So we're gonna move on to uh, the courses. So the course is gonna be under dashboard. It will show you all the classes that you're taking this quarter. And if you wanna see the past enrollments in the last quarter, you have to hit and hit the button, all courses. Um, it will list down, yeah, it will list down all the classes that you have has been enrolled before and the class that you enrolled this quarter. So for the calendar, um, they will have the deadline on the to-do list on the calendar um, because I haven't had any class on my calendar yet, but usually each class will have different color. So if you see on the right uh, under calendars, you will see the red one is for online information center, the gray one gonna be for ITEM internship, 
And yeah, it's, it's going to classify all the colors on your calendar too. And also notification from CWU, like the first day of, of classes, last day of add and drop. And the last one is the inbox. So if you're familiar with Outlook and Gmail, um, you definitely can use um, the inbox easily. Uh, so on the left-hand side, we'll, we'll have all the, the inbox or incoming emails for you. And if you want to send an email to your professor or your teammates, there's a, a button up there with the pencil and a paper. And you hit on that, you can select the course and you can select the, the people um, in your team, uh, your professor, and then type in like a regular Gmail, like a re regular email <laughs> and you hit send, yeah. That's all I have. If you have any question, please let me know. Great. Thank you so much for joining everybody. If you don't have any more questions um, or if you do, uh, you can leave, leave them in the chat or unmute. unmute. But I, if, oh, can you repeat that, please? Yeah, I have a question. Yeah. Can you hear me? Okay. Yes. Yeah. Oh, um, I think I believe, Tuan, is that how you say your name? Yes, Tuan. Mm -hmm. Tuan um, I think I heard you say something about when um, Canvas is on, to, under maintenance, mm -hmm. um, they ask us to send our homework somewhere else. What is the other via that we can send our homework or how does that work? So uh, usually if they, ha they have a Canvas under maintenance, um, the professor is gonna receive that um, notification too. They will ask you to submit it tomorrow or they will ask you to submit it through Outlook. I believe that they are the source that they have. So if you go to Outlook uh, under the cwu.edu domain uh -huh. and just send them an email, um, it's gonna be the exactly the same address email like on Canvas. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Our, our Outlook email through, um, through CWU, the one that shows on the homepage, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh, okay, thank you. All right. Thank you so much for joining everybody.